And well, Coach, that early deficit, 9-2 to two in the fourth inning, just a little too much to overcome. Yeah, I mean, you start off that inning on a 4-2 ball game, you blew the ball at second base, and then a pitcher can't turn a double play, and they can't field a bunt. So, um, you know, when you do that against good teams, they come back and haunt you, and uh, Central Florida's a good ball club, and they took advantage of it. An uncharacteristic of this team to have four errors. Yeah, I mean, you, you got to make plays. I mean, I don't care who you're playing against, but when you're playing quality teams and you're making errors, they're going to let you know. And uh, Central Florida, you got to give them credit just to the advantage of it. You saw some good pitching from Andrew Loynez and Austin Adams in relief, but Daniel Rockhold, 0 for 15 since coming back from the injury. He reached base three times, and what a play in second base throwing out that guy at the back. Yeah, I mean, he's exhausted a little bit in the ninth inning there, but um, we need him to play good. Him and Andrew are going to do a good job for us behind the plate. Um, just a little disappointed that the way we, uh, we played that one inning. This team shook off a nine-run loss last week in Miami to come back and sweep St. John's. I got a feeling everybody at this point is already looking ahead to UConn. Well, uh, I hope not. I mean, I know we got exams and stuff, but UConn is the best team in this conference, and uh, you're going to face a great Friday night guy. Randy's got you know his work cut out. It'll be a great battle, uh, but we just got to forget about this one. It's over, and uh, prepare for UConn. All right, coach. See you up there in UConn. All right, thank you.